Hi and welcome. I'm Paul. And I'm Marie. And we are a UK reselling couple based in Hampshire. And this is our charity shop video. <laughs> This week we've got a bit of a charity shop haul for you. Yes, we've been out and about, haven't we? Hun? We have been out and about. Now we're going to apologise if we look a bit shattered. We <laughs> we were up watching the um, the charity event, weren't we? That Laney organised, which it? was amazing. Was well amazing. done to Laney. Yeah. All those um, all that hard work, all the people yeah. that helped her, yeah. donated. We really enjoyed the weekend. Yeah, it but was it was fantastic. long, wasn't it? It was quite. It was long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I passed our bedtime, especially with the clocks going. Well, where did they go? Did they go back or forwards? They went back. Fall, fall back, yes. So, tiring, wasn't it? <laughs> so today we're a little bit light-headed, aren't we? Yeah. A bit spaced out. But we have got some things to show you. Yes, yeah. Where now, these it? are all charity shop items, aren't they? They are, yeah, yeah. Again, sorry, we haven't got any footage for you. No? <laughs> We've spared <laughs> them that. that we footage have of me bending the, over. <laughs> yeah, the footage of, of me holding the camera down low. <laughs> You know, the moral of today's video really is you may be looking in a charity shop for a certain item mm. um, and sometimes you're a bit blink and you don't look at other items. So just to give you a rough idea of what we do, because we are doing the, um, the challenge for our daughter, the clothing and shoes challenge, when we go to a charity shop, we are mainly going to look for clothing, aren't we? Yeah, we are. And we are a little bit blinkered sometimes, but recently we have been looking, glancing at other areas in the charity shop. Mm. And today we've bought all these items that we're going to show you when we weren't even going there looking for those items. That's it. And today's yeah. items have been mainly focused on price because a lot of them were of a really good price. Yeah. So it's it's a case of having a look, hun, isn't it? Don't always oh, yeah, buy yeah, don't... what you know. Yeah, yeah. If it's cheap, give it a go. That's, That's it. the motto for the video. <laughs> if it's cheap, give, give it, it a go. go. Get that on a t-shirt. So why don't you start then, hun? <laughs> I'll start. I'll start Get over it on a t-shirt, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's oh, nothing so, in that. I've taken it out because I didn't know yeah. I was going to see what your what your opinion was. It's a book box set. It's a book box set. It's a book box set. It's yeah. the book box set. Well, it's a little bit tatty. It's very it? tatty. Yeah, no, it's right, been taken out. This is up. the the box. Yeah. So basically, in there we've got <coughs> all these books. Six books. Um, who's Ian Blyton. Oh right. And who's they that? are the <laughs> Far Away Tree and Wishing. Something she put the book in the way of the, oh, word. Sorry. <laughs> the wishing chair. The wishing Collection. chair. Yeah. So um, the enchanted wood. But this is my thing, hun. What, what would you do? Do you, would you so sell that. them with or without that tatty box set cover? I, I sort of had it with it. Mm. Then I took it off. It's been taped up once already, and it's difficult because does it enhance the the books are very in good condition. Good condition? And it's, will it sort of detract from the good condition of the books? Mm. That's the question, the dilemma. That is a difficult one because, yeah, the box is it's pretty... It's ripped there, it's been taped underneath, it's, pretty, it's a bit tatty. Yeah, pretty tatty, yeah. So do you think leave it... But it was a special sort of collection. Mm. Yeah, that's a difficult one. Yeah. You, you could sort of... Um, Perhaps tape it up, put it with it and... Put it with it, but don't necessarily... Oh, I don't know. If someone's buying it, they the might take it off. The thing is, somebody might want the... Yeah. Yeah. We'll, I don't, we'll I don't do know. that then, we'll, we'll, we'll have yeah. a think about it. That's anyway. probably what we'll do. <laughs> Let's get to pricing. We, um, yeah. That set we paid 50 pence for. I know. That's what I mean. 50 pence. For six books. Shop. For a six book <laughs> box set. Six book box set. And we're going to be putting them up for 9 99 Yeah. It's not mm. bad, hun. Good start. Good start, yeah. I'm going to show you some of the things that we won't be selling because um, we bought them because they were cheap. Um, but they haven't got enough value to be sold on their own, so we'll put them with other things. So we've got this gorgeous, all from now, hun. <laughs> this gorgeous, um, I, I would say, it's going to have short bread or something we would have yeah, done. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, it's going to be short bread. Yeah. Like a metal tin, um, it was only 50p, mm. but I think it's about six, seven pound, hun, so we probably wouldn't list it for that. So Not we'd wait until own, yeah. we had another tin. We find mm. them quite regularly, don't we? We do. And then yeah. we'll put them together, so... That's, that's that. And then we have these books. The books, the shop we were in, the books were 10 p each. You could not turn them down for 10 p each. No, definitely So I not. tried to buy the better ones, um, children's ones mainly, and um, 
I'll just put them aside and then when we get any others we'll bundle them together. Yeah. Because you don't see books of Tempe, not not no, anywhere no, these days. No, you don't, no. It's just, um, yeah. So I thought I'm Grab going for it. Can. Exactly. So that covers the items we won't be selling. What? Right. Over to you again then, my love. Okay. Um, small books. Is it, uh, are you running out of paper? The, the slips seem to be getting, getting smaller, smaller, smaller and smaller. Look at me saving the planet. <laughs> We've got three books here. Now these are theme hung. Terry is Gowen. Osborne um first and young reading that's the range right, so that's okay. why i've grouped them together like this that jason one. and the golden fleece that the one. monster gang and jack and the one. beanstalk what a classic classic exactly so again these were 10p each so it's 30 pence cotton. for those i wouldn't have bothered it's only because they were so cheap that i yeah. thought oh there's got there's got to be some money there again they're in great condition tiny little bit there but they are mm. apart from that Good pretty condition. good, 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 good there. Could can't talk. <laughs> really good condition. That's what happens when you find something cheap. I know. Right, <laughs> right, anyway, now. hang on. Oh, oh I did I not do that real? I'm too eager. So pay 30 pence and we're going to put them up for 9 99 Oh, now I'm going to go for something I think that's been talked about on Nick and Andrea's show. Um, it's the Ugly Mug. I knew I saw that somewhere. Yeah, I, when I saw it on the shop, I thought, where have I seen that? And then yeah. I think it was to do with Nick and Andrea. Right, it's an okay. ugly mug. I think they're made in Wales. I'll have to do a bit more research. But we paid pound fifty, and we were putting up for fourteen ninety nine. Probably get around 11 or 12 for that, I think. It's cool, isn't it? I haven't found that exact one, so you never know. It might be more of a rarer, rarer one. I can't talk now. It's, <laughs> it's, it's catching, spreading, it? yeah. <laughs> But I thought it's worth a go, isn't it? Bit, mm. bit of vintage, love it. Love it. Guess what I've got? I know, hon. Have you noticed I've put a lot of your? It's, I've got your... all the weighty things. I think. <laughs> oh, like this. Oh, we've got some books here. <clears throat> There's a little note on that. That's just telling you that the first two have got a bit of pencil mark inside. Oh, okay. If Thanks. you're selling books, for that. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, you know, you do need to be honest about um, the condition of them. So if there are pencil marks or pen mm. writing inside the cover, we do put that in all the listings. I mean, and take photos. You um, you know, you may be able to rub it out, but you could. But there's always the risk. imprint. That's the yeah, thing. So I yeah. always try and be um, honest about it. <coughs> so what's that? Her, Barbara uh, Erskine. I don't know. Yeah, we no probably way. murdered it. But probably have. Know. Yeah. Four hardback books. Four huh? of those. They're all the same author. They're going to be weighty, aren't they, to, they to send are. out? They that's, are. That's, thanks for that. <laughs> um, yeah, we paid uh, one pound for all four. One pound for all four. You can't believe that, can you? That's good, isn't it? And we're going to be putting the... <coughs> excuse me. We're going to be putting this set up for twelve ninety nine. Yeah, I thought there'd be more value in it, to be honest with you, but a lot of books are going for roughly about £3 online. It's, yeah. it's the old world of books killing it, isn't it, really? It is, really, yeah. All right, now I've got something that I'm going to show you that we um, we went out on Friday and we had coffee with lovely Lindsay and Alvin, oh, Lindsay didn't and we? Alvin, yeah. And we got this gorgeous um, British gas plush for a pound. We're going to be put up for nine ninety nine. Mm. It was lovely to meet up with Lindsay and Alvin. It was, yes. Great Thanks very much you. for all your support. <laughs> right. Me? Over to you again, hun. I'm going to go... Go for that. Treat, for yourself, yeah, treat yourself. Treat yourself. You spotted yeah. these, didn't you? I did. Got some uh, Memorex chrome cassettes. I always um, do, you know, if they're cheap enough, do pick up um, sealed cassettes because some of them do actually have quite a bit of value. Um, but generally, if you've got them cheap enough, you're going to make money. Um, but yeah, and we bought these for pound fifty for all three. And we're going to be putting them up for sixteen ninety nine. Woo! Woo! It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, easy to post as well. <clears throat> I, I like. I like easy. To you post. do like easy to post. <laughs> I've got something here, hun, that I saw and thought, oh, I've seen these sorts of things before. I think Emily's got one, something bigger than this, but this is um, like a Disney showcase. It's very tiny. Mm. Um, sort of a resiny type figure. It was only a pound in the charity shop, which is a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Really? Yeah. So we're going to put that up. I think it might go all right for Christmas. Yeah. It's um, Winnie yeah, with his honey cool. pot. We're going to put it up for fourteen ninety nine. That's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What else you got, honey? I'm, you back, got to, I'm back to books. <laughs> I'm sorry, hon. I put all the boring stuff your end. But there is something exciting to tell you about these. Well, these ones. So yeah. I'm pulling out now. These ones. Okay. This is Santa Montefiore. Montefiore. I don't okay. know if I've, I've really... 
murdered that Hun, but yeah. this is a local lady, even though she sounds Italian. Oh, okay. And you're never going to believe who it is. Guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is someone from Winchester. Shout out to Leanne Hill, lives in Winchester. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, she, might even, she might even know her. But this is a famous lady, <coughs> and her name is, is Santa Montefiore, but... Her original name was Santa Para Tomkinson. Is it Tomkinson's? Do you remember Tara so, Palmer Tomkinson? Listen. It's her sister. Oh. Is a, a famous author. Oh, okay. I know. And oh, I looked, God. I don't know why I looked, but I think I was looking to see what the genre of books are. And it come up with, she lives in Winchester, lived in Winchester. Yeah. In Hampshire. And that's only up the road from us. So mm. I had a look into it. I was gobsmacked that that's who she is. That's yeah, she fantastic. died very young, didn't she, old Tara? She did, yeah, yeah. Anyway, keep it light. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, seven books there. Again, 10p each, 70p. 70p. All, all of those. And we're going to be putting them up for 16 99 Yes. Now, as I say, said earlier, we don't normally set out to buy sort of bundles of books, no, do we? No, we don't, no. But when they're 10p, you can sort of see that there's money there to be made. So, you know, we go for it, don't we, hum? <coughs> we do. Now, I'm going to go for this pot, which I've looked at for at least three or four weeks now in the charity shop. Oh, yeah. You're but going back every, yeah, every you week do. I was going, oh, look at that, look that pot. That's nice. Um, Too expensive. But this week, it was half price. Yeah, so yeah, I got yeah, it, yeah. was it half price? Or it might have been a... No, more than that. I, I think. think, yeah, I think it was three or four pound, and it was up down to a pound. Right. So I'll put it a bit nearer so you can see. But it's it's a lovely wood with... Um, with like a brass cam on, it's got brass along inlay, the sort of inlay at the top as well, and topping at the bottom. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's like a, I've described it as a pencil pot, hun. I don't know what else you could yeah. describe that as. Um, but it was a pound, and we're going to put it up for sixteen ninety nine. Probably some sort of Egyptian style of um, souvenir back in the day. But mm. each bit of wood has been sort of put together. It's um, it's gorgeous. It's been put together. It's been put together. <laughs> No, but you can no, sort of see the craftsmanship, nice, yeah. can't you? Really, yeah. the bottom, the bottom separate. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Mm. So um, we'll give it a go, hun. We will. More books. More books, hun. I don't know anything about this person, so. Okay. You no history. Done your no history there on poor old <laughs> Nora Roberts. <laughs> what I do know is these bottom three were from the same trilogy. Okay. So. Yeah, that's good. So we got four books here by the same author. Uh, again, these were ten pence each, so it's forty pence, and we're putting them up for twelve ninety nine. Yeah, and, and to be honest, all we did when we were in the charity shop, when I saw the sign ten for a pound, um, all I did is tried to group together as much as I could. So yeah. I just went by author. Yeah. Right in that same shop, hun, they had these two. Now we've got a bit Ooh. of a story about these. In one of our really early videos, um, we had a, a very similar mug to this, and these are um, like a, a McDonald's collaboration with Kenko, mm. some sort of um, Rainforest Alliance sort of setup from 2008 2009. So they've got the little McDonald's in the in the top there, yeah. um, and we bought one, and we've had it online, and we've had it online since we showed it in the video. It's not sold, is it? Oh right, okay. It's been on sale many a time, yeah. but I think we were a little bit greedy with the price. So when I saw these and they were two mugs for 50p, mm. I thought, oh, they're different to the one we've got. We could yeah. put the three together and we might finally be able to get that other one gone. Yeah. So we've these two together cost 50p and we'll be putting these two with the other one right. and putting the whole three up for 16.99 in a hope that they will go. What can well, you do, hun? Better with a set. Isn't it? it is always better with a set because people think they're getting more value for money, don't they? That's it. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going for more books. <laughs> oh. Got quite excited when I saw these, hun, because they've got the magic word on. Warhammer. Oh yeah. Okay. I had no idea what Warhammer books would be worth, though, hun. But for for the price of them, you can't go wrong, can you? No, again, they these were 10p 10p each. 10p each. 10p I know. Each. Fantastic. We had a cracking day, didn't we? A bit we of did. book day. You was weren't, a bit. You weren't so happy on the way back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty heavy. <laughs> you were like a donkey, weren't you, with all yeah, these bags? Definitely. But, um, yeah, you um, can't go wrong, can you? Put my 20 pence we paid, and they're going up for 12 99 
Not too bad. I thought it'd be worth a bit more, to be honest, but... Yeah. You know. That's I'm not, not moaning about that. 20p into 12 That's months, good. You know, if we can get a 10, <laughs> I would be really happy. Now I'm going to show you one of my favourite items that I got. Um, it's a bit wonky, but that's a bit like me, isn't it, hun? <laughs> it's this gorgeous... Gorgeous vintage um, wicker basket. It's it is, bit, I say, it is it's, a bit. It's, it's not a bit wonky. It's I'm going to say lot misshapen. Very misshapen. Um, I don't know whether you can do anything to bring that yeah, back I mean, or not. You can sort of see how twisted <laughs> it is in the. Yeah. But that adds, for, for me, hun, that adds to its charm. Right. And you can pretty much do anything with this sort of thing. But I think this sort of style, um, I've had a look online, hun. Now, I'm going to be a bit vague because I think it could be as early as 1940s. Or it could be as late as 1960s. I think it's in between that. Oh, it's in between. 40s, 50s, 60s. I'll probably yeah. put that in the listing. Yeah, um, okay. They only wanted £2 for it, which, I mean, oh, bargain. Absolute bargain, hun. Nobody wanted it, that's probably why. <laughs> it's so twisted. <laughs> I but wanted course, it, hun. It's gorgeous. A wicker lady comes along. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like a shot, hun. Um, £2. And this might surprise you, hun, what I'm going to put it up for, but I'm putting it up for thirty-four ninety-nine. Really? Because I have seen evidence um, in solds that that style goes for that sort of money. And okay. a bit more. I've actually bought the price down because it, it's a bit wonky donkey. Yeah. So if you see anything like this out and about with this, you know, colouring and whatever it is, they do go for sort of around the 40-ish. Yeah. So okay. it's gorgeous. No, fantastic. Now I've said that, we'll never ever be able to sell that. No, no. We'll Which is not a bad thing, I better keep it. Just what you don't want to do, just, just twist it just a bit twist like it, that yeah. and just hold it there. <laughs> I don't know if there's yeah. anything we can do, but yeah. like we can some, look into it, someone who's something with that. Yeah. So what, you've got two things left, I'd go with that one, man. I thought yeah. it was going to cheer you up. Oh, is it? Oh, Turn the, turned it this over. one's upside down. Yeah, always do that on a good one. I like seeing those. Okay, so do you want to explain what it is? Yeah, this is an unusual item. Sometimes you see something in a shop and even though you know nothing about it, you get that sense, you get that gut feeling that that's a bit different and sort of unusual, uh, I'm not going to say ugly, but sometimes unusually type things do do go well. Um, and when they're a bit unique, you think, OK, I'll, I'll have a look. It was £2.50, um, which is worth a chance, isn't it, hum? It is worth a chance. And it's definitely. only when we got it home and I looked, I thought, oh. This is called um, Tom's Drag. It's a clown named Ugo. And this is, you'll never guess how much these are new, hun. I can only find it in euros. Oh, really? I've looked on eBay. Not one of them has sold um, this year. I've terra peaked it. I've done everything. Okay. Um, you can get a hold of them in Europe, but they are quite rare in this country. Yeah. He did a whole range, he did. He does, Tom's Drag um, does a whole range of animals and things like this. He did a set of um, clowns, this one's called Ugo. Mm -hmm. um, new, you can buy them for 137 euros, I know. Now I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but he's got lots of little, um, what are they called, hun? The little jet, the, I'll call them gems. Oh, right. Um, like oh, rolling oh, stones oh, around I'll the top, of his, can... top of his um, hat. He's got them can, all over, uh, all over the place. Yeah, you can't really pick it up that well, but. but it's like a like a sort of a resiny figure. Yeah. But it, I don't know if you can show them the eyelashes. I'm just making you get up again. He's got he's got <laughs> gorgeous <laughs> like eyelashes. Um, um, but it's definitely something to look out for. Yeah, you can't because you can't really see that not in the camera. We paid two pound fifty, hun. How much? Do the big reveal. <laughs> How much do we put it up for? Wow. 59.99. Bit of a guess, hun. They are so rare in this country. Mm. Um, yes, you can buy the odd animal, and the animals go for sort of around about the 30-ish. Mm. Um, a, a, quite a big sculpture went for 100. Um, so I have sort of guessed, if I'm honest with you, because there is one of the rhinestones missing Oh, um, on the back of his yeah, head, back there, yeah. so that does affect the price. If he, if that was was there, I would have put it up for more around about seventy five, eighty, I think, right, just okay. to put it out there to see what interest there is. Okay. Um, no, but as I say, just, it's wow. difficult it's... to get one in this country, so we'll go aim high and see how we get on. That's, um... But you wouldn't look at that in a shop and think it was anything you would know, of that value. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have. I would have probably left it. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was unusual, and yeah. unusual does tend to, to 
be popular, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. But it's an unusual. Yeah. They do a whole range. It's called Tom's Drag. They do a whole range of things, and they're all a bit bright like that, and a bit unusual. Mm. But we'll give it a go, hun. We'll give it a go. That's fantastic, though. <coughs> Excuse me, two fifty into fifty nine ninety. Well, if it sells, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? That will be, yeah. We'll I've got see. Ash, I'm going to lay him down. Lay him down. Oops. So then I think we've got the last item, hun, which is this. Um, we saw, I think we were watching the listing challenge, weren't we? And we saw um, Simon from Married to Reselling talking about these puzzles. And I've never had one before. Is it H-E-Y-E? -E? I don't know. He's hey, hey. I mm. don't really know how you even say it, Ham. Um, but he was talking about one of these. And I thought, oh, and we spotted this one and I yeah. got it because I thought it might be worth something. Yeah. We paid £2.50. I've had a look inside, hun, and it is it has been done. It has been done. Because if it's sealed, you could, you know, I saw it's one that's lot, been £30. Oh, right. So um, I thought, oh, I'll have a look. You never know. 50-50 chance the bag might be still sealed. No, yeah. someone's used no. it. No way. Now, what we tend to do with puzzles is we um, we actually make them. But with this at this time of year, hun, I probably haven't got time to do that. So I might just do the frame, count it, yeah, and see how we get on with it. Yeah. Um, but it'll be going up for fourteen ninety nine, and we'll see how we get on. Yeah. So we can do it now. That's all right. If it don't so sell, I might do it over Christmas. <laughs> yeah, uh, Marie does like doing puzzles. I think it, it gives people a bit more reassurance if it's done. Yes, you, you get, you get a done. picture of it done. Yeah, and yeah it, more buyer it does. confidence. That's exactly it. Yeah, buyer confidence. But I think we've got. Well, I'm just having a look around, hun, and yeah, make sure we haven't missed anything we? off. I think yeah. we've got everything. So yeah, we've got nothing on the floor this time. No, nothing on the floor. No. So as I say, it's we had a few items that... Um, that we won't be selling on, yeah. but we have bought them, so I've included them in the figures. Hun, this is the big reveal of how much we spent. It's crazy, isn't it? It is. We bought all those items for eighteen pounds and ten pence. Mm. It just goes to show, even though you, you're going into a shop or a boot sale looking for certain things, sometimes if the price is right, snap those cheap things up and yeah. um, give them a go because mm. there is money to be made in some things, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We don't set out to buy loads and loads of books but we've no. bought mainly books because there is money there mm. especially That's with it being it. winter sometimes people want to sort of bed in don't they in the evening and they have do, a good yeah. read mm. so should we go through our figures yes then? let's go through the figures so what we've shown you here equates to 15 listings this is the value hun listing so value we've got a listing value of 276 pounds and 85 pence so we run through the um, best case scenario. If yeah. everything sells at full price, um, the um, eBay um, final value fees and order transaction fee um, is that including the VAT? It is. Would equate to forty four pounds and ninety three pence. The um, postage uh, to send this would approximately be sixty pounds. So the fees and postage would be one hundred and four pounds and ninety three pence. And you take that away from the 27685, gives you 17192. And then we take off the um, purchase price of 18 pound and 10 pence, gives us a best case profit of 150, yeah, sorry, 15382. It's not bad, so how is it? Excuse me. You, know, <coughs> you have to apologise, poor old Paul, he's still not 100%. He's been ill. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. You've been through the ringer, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> so so. You are getting there, but it's it's taking its time, isn't it? Yeah. But I will just mention that um, that our figures here don't factor in um, if you wanted to do that promotional thing. Promotional listings. listings yeah. But I have worked it out in case anyone is really interested. If you were to do all of those items um, at two percent, which is the lowest you can do, yeah. you're looking at another six pound sixty four in costs. Is that including VAT? That's including the VAT. That's yeah. I know, look at me remembering. Oh, no. <laughs> so now I'm going to take you through the worst case. So um, as you might have seen in our most recent video, not everything sells for, for full price. Most things sell well, it's, not it's, at full price. So yeah. we sort of have a you bit of a... tend to have a bit of a mixture. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think most at the moment is, is people on like, offers. Especially at the minute where the economic climate, yeah. people are trying to get more for they their like money. Deals. They like deals. deals, they want to get a bargain. That's it. So we sort of always sort of factor that in. So if we were going to take off um, the worst case, it would be 30%. Yeah. So that £276.85p already goes <clears> down to £193.80. We still have all the fees. That's £33.07p. The postage is the same, hun, that's £60. Yeah. So our total fees would be ninety three pound and seven p. 
If we take that away from the £193.80, we are left with only £100.73p hung. But then we've got to take off the £18.10p. So that leaves us with £82.63p as our profit. Yeah, it's the worst case. Profit. Worst case. Mm. Now, if anyone is interested, the if you did it on promoted listings, the, an additional cost of four pounds sixty-five, mm. which includes the VAT, would also need to be added on. Mm. So, eighty-three, eighty-two pounds sixty-three is not bad when we've only paid eighteen pound ten p. It's more than the three times, which is our sort of model. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, um, but so realistically, we're going to get more you than that. You know, we, we were out, we were doing clothes at the same time. So yes, yeah, we yeah. went out just to get so, clothes, really. We just <clears> this bought all this tat, just... So while we, it's not bad while we were there. Yeah, the clothes, it was we, pretty we much... We found all this as well. While so, we were there. Um, so really, we, we probably wouldn't go out of our way just to find this. No, and because... realistically, realistically looking around, the only thing we would have probably bought based on the price would have been the basket yeah um we would have got the british gas thing the ugly mug and the um mm. the, the clown the books we wouldn't normally have we wouldn't have, normally no but, it's so. only because the price was so cheap yes you've got it. to seize these you've opportunities got to, you've got to give it a go and there's, there's definitely money there even around the boot sale it's, it's rare to get a book for less than a oh, pound yeah. yeah definitely so um mm. you know it, the only other place where you'd get that sort of thing would be jumble sales, but we haven't been to a jumble sales since, oh, well, three or four years ago now. Yeah, yeah and even then it was that. a little bit elbowy, wasn't it? It was, it was a bit, yeah. <laughs> it's like a rugby scrum. Yeah. So I don't know whether we'd be that keen on going back to jumble sales no, at the I don't minute. Think I would. No, I um, So yes, it, it's really a case of what we weren't expecting to get this much stuff. No, I mean um, just to give you a rough idea, I mean we would predict. Um, so the, the best case was 15382 worst case was 8263 mm -hmm. we would probably be around the 110 yeah. to maybe pushing it 120 yeah. sort of mark that's what we would sort of be looking at uh, getting wouldn't it yeah and that sort we do, of shows... we do sell some at full price and you do sell some at the, the low, your lowest price, thirty percent off, but then you're also selling them at ten percent off, five percent off. So it yeah. varies um, quite a bit. Doesn't but it, it sort of shows, really, on on this particular video, <coughs> um, the profit is is really high, and mm. that is because we've yeah. we've seized the moment on and bought things we wouldn't necessarily have looked into before. Mm. Um, we do try and have a look around a charity shop, but sometimes we have, don't have enough time. We just go for clothes and come out. Yeah. Whereas it always pays to have a little look around the other things because you just don't know, do you? I see, you don't. If you spot something that's only 10p, grab it. Grab it, yeah, definitely. So uh, I've got a pile of books now. I don't know what I'll end up doing with them. <laughs> I'll have those books forever don't, now. Don't start making another backlog. Or... <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully, you know, we'll go back to these charity shops and hopefully that we'll be yeah. able to get some more and bundle them together. Yeah, that's it. But that's sort of the moral of the, um, the video today, hon, isn't it? Is have a look at everything in the charity shop. Yeah. Don't just go for what you normally go for. Give everything a look because there might yeah. be an opportunity there to make some money. Mm. And that's sort of hopefully what we're going to do. Yeah, if it definitely. sales, we've got to sell it first. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. But yes. But that's I it. Think, yeah. That's it from us, I think. Um, mm. Thanks ever so much for all your support. Thanks for leaving us comments and thanks very much. Yes, thank you. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. If you liked our content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Subscription is free. Oh. You don't need to pay anything. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Just press the uh, red subscribe button and the bell icon as well and you'll be notified for our future videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.